Good morning and welcome back to our channel. So things that I am doing to prepare for transfer. There's a lot of them because I don't know in previous videos I talked about it but I have work to do in terms of preparing my mind, body, and spirit for um, transfer. And so there's been a lot of different things that I have been doing in order to get myself ready. The first thing, and I think this might be one of, one of my favorite things, is I started acupuncture. Yeah, more needle. And it's honestly been going really, really great. There are a lot of benefits to doing acupuncture in conjunction with your IVF treatment. Um, a lot of people say that it helps increase blood flow to your reproductive organs, thus helping baby stick once you are getting ready for transfer. And so um, I started acupuncture about... I want to say like three or four weeks after retrieval so it's been a minute that I've been going and seeing my acupuncturist and I absolutely love it like that's something that I recommend to everybody like acupuncture um it's not only good in terms of kind of like the health benefits of like increasing blood flow and things like that but also every week I go and see my acupuncturist and they're kind of like an IVF coach and so what I mean by that is like when I had my initial appointment with my acupuncturist they had asked me about my goals they had said okay what what are you gonna do in order to prepare yourself for transfer and I was like well I want to be able to eat healthier I want to be able to you know work on the issues that I'm having with my sleep and eliminating stress and things like that um, that I've kind of previously talked about but um, so every week when I go, they're checking in with me. They're like, okay, you said that you were going to work on your eating habits. You said your goal was to eliminate fast food and junk food. How is that going? Are you actually meeting your goal? Like, what are some difficulties? What are you craving? Are you craving more sweets? Are you craving more salt teas? Here's some alternatives that you could try. And so they're really like working with me and supporting me through kind of this entire IVF journey well the second part to our IVF journey which has been really really nice I honestly really like going and seeing my acupuncturist I look forward to those appointments on every Tuesday because it is just one it's relaxing and two it's really cool having that support um also my acupuncturist gave me this book it is called the planting seeds of pregnancy and this book kind of talks about how um kind of like the merging of eastern and western medicine when it comes to fertility treatment and so it kind of talks about how it supports with IVF, how it supports with lots of um fertility diagnoses one of which is pcos and so this is something that i've been reading in order to just better understand how acupuncture is helping me and so yeah something else that i'm doing in order to prepare for transfer is a lot of self-care um spending a lot of time with myself and um just trying to work on my mind um i do that lots of different ways one of my favorites is actually bubble baths so something i heard and hopefully someone can dispute it in the comment section down below is that i heard that when you're pregnant you can't take hot baths anymore and so somehow my husband got that into his head and so he's like you better get in all the baths you can now because you'll never be able to take another bath for the next nine months and so <laughs> I love taking bubble baths. I will set the mood by lighting some candles. I will drop a couple bath bombs. I'll put some bubble bath in there and I can sit in the tub for hours, hours on hours. And I like to do lots of things in there. Sometimes I'll bring a book and I'll read in the tub or I'll just turn on some Jonathan McReynolds music and I will just jam out and zen and relax. And other times I'll watch a movie. I'll bring my laptop, set it on the toilet, and I will watch a movie while in the bathtub. I just really enjoy that like relaxation and that that just time to myself. Um, something else that I'm doing, and I don't know if I'm supposed if I'm supposed to be doing this, but I've been doing massage therapy. 
every week I have been going and getting a massage and I love it I love it I love it I love it massages bring me so much joy they help relax me it's it's just it's really helping with like some stress relief and so for me um, I'm gonna try to do it as long as possible. I do need to talk to my nurse though and make sure I'm supposed to be doing massages because I know it like releases the gunk and you gotta drink lots of water and things like that. But um, in terms of my mental health, I need those massages. I need them. And so I'm gonna continue to do them for as long as possible. Um, something else that I've been doing is, or that Adam and I have been doing is spending a lot of time with each other. Um, we've been doing lots of different things. We have been cooking together and not just like regular meals. Like we will cook our HelloFresh meals together, but we will also like find TikTok trends and we'll cook those meals together. Um, and that's been a lot of fun. We'll have slumber parties in the living room. Well, we'll smush our couches together and lay on it like a bed and we'll watch movies all night. Or um, just recently we've been planning a lot of different trips you know um and i say trips not like we going somewhere really but just like finding cool little camping spots around washington state um and so we went camping with our family but then we also planned just like little camping trips for just the two of us to be able to spend some time together um before we are pregnant you know just thinking about you know these last little vacations before we are pregnant and yeah just really trying to spend time together continuing to work on our relationship working on our communication and um, working on you know making sure that we are still taking time for one another even in the midst of everything that's going on it's something that has been really really important for us the next thing is our healthy eating choices i'm not gonna say we're on a diet i'm not gonna say nothing of the sort because we are not on a diet i refuse to go on a diet because i've never been able to make it on a diet longer than what's the i've never been able to make it on a diet longer than three months and so we are not on a diet at all but we have been implementing some healthy eating choices that i will be able to maintain when i am pregnant um I don't want to start a diet because I feel like as soon as I'm pregnant, I'm going to fall off of it. And so we're just been, we've just been making really, really tiny changes. Like we have decided that we are going to stop eating fast food. Um, just try to cut it out altogether. Um, so I've been staying up on like our grocery ordering. And honestly, I've been using our HelloFresh now a lot more just to make lunch. And then um, have been cooking dinner um the meals are like really easy to follow and quick and so it's a lot easier just to be like okay i'm gonna make this for lunch real quick and then i can be more thoughtful around what we're gonna eat for dinner and then the last thing is really cutting out all of uh, cutting okay i'm not gonna say all of let me not lie cutting out most of like the junk food like chips and candies and things like that the reason that we can't go on a diet, okay, can't go. <laughs> the reason that we don't want to be on a diet is because of the fact that we really enjoy food. We really enjoy eating. And so um, I want to make it manageable, not miserable. So there will be times where I decide to treat myself, where we will go to Cold Stone Creamery together and get some ice cream, or where we will go and... Um, eat something maybe not so healthy but we give ourselves grace okay we're not going to be perfect in this process nobody is and so um for the most part we are really working on making sure that we're eating healthy but there are going to be those moments where we just want to be happy and that's priority and so um we've been you know trying to make sure that we are eating healthier um exercise 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 i want to say i can't exercise because gyms are closed but that's an excuse <laughs> um and i don't like going to gyms anyway i had i've had memberships for years and have never gone and just wasted all that money and so i can't i'm not going to pretend like if a gym was open i'd actually be going but what i am doing and what i have enjoyed doing this summer is going for hikes 
going for hikes or just going for walks. We have a park not too far from our house that has this loop and so we would just walk it over and over and over or we will go and find a hike to do. And so when I say that we are going for walks and hikes, I'm not talking about like, okay, we're gonna go for a 30 minute hike. No, when we go, we try to spend a couple of hours. And so typically we only go twice a week. Um, that's really all we have. I don't wanna say all I have time for, but that's just what works for us right now. Um, doing twice a week seems to be going fine and we're really really enjoying it if you have any other recommendations for things that we could do or I could do in order to support with transfer and everything like that please leave them in the comment sections down below I would love to hear um, maybe what worked for you or what didn't work for you every woman is going to be different and so the things that I shared are the things that I am doing and that I'm going to continue to do but more suggestions are always helpful I thank you for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.